Your heart is a muscle that works continuously, much like a pump. Each beat of your heart is set in motion by an electrical signal from the sinoatrial node, also known as the SA node. The SA node is in the right atrium, one of the two upper chambers of your heart. The electrical signal spreads across the cells of your heart's right and left atria. This signal causes the atria to contract and pump blood through the open valves from the atria into both ventricles. The signal arrives at the atrial ventricular node, also known as the AV node, near the ventricles. Here it slows for an instant to allow your heart's right and left ventricles to fill with blood. The signal then moves along the bundle of Hiss, located in your heart's ventricles. From the bundle of Hiss, the signal fibers divide into left and right bundle branches, which run through your heart's septum. The signal leaves the left and right bundle branches through the Purkinje fibers that connect directly to the cells of the walls of your heart's ventricles. The signal spreads quickly across your heart's ventricles. As the signal spreads across the cells of the ventricle walls, both ventricles contract, pushing blood through the pulmonary valve to your lungs and through the aortic valve to the rest of your body. As the signal passes, the walls of your heart's ventricles relax and wait for the next signal. PSVT is caused by short circuits or electrically irritable areas in the atrial tissue. Examples of PSVT include atrial ventricular nodal reentrant tachycardia, or AVNRT, atrial flutter, focal atrial tachycardia, and Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. AVNRT arises from malfunctioning of the AV node. In most people, the AV node conducts impulses along a single pathway. In AVNRT, a second pathway exists, giving rise to a potential short circuit driven rapid heartbeat. Atrial flutter is an abnormality of the heart rhythm, resulting in a rapid and sometimes irregular heartbeat. It occurs when electrical impulses take an abnormal path through the atria typically circulating around the tricuspid valve in the right atrium. More unusually, atrial flutter can also arrive in the left atrium after atrial fibrillation ablation or following cardiac surgery on the mitral valve, for example. Focal atrial tachycardia arises from a single site within the left or right atrium. In contrast to atrial flutter and atrial fibrillation, which involve multiple sites or larger circuits. Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, or WPW syndrome, is the presence of an extra abnormal electrical pathway in the heart between the atria and the ventricles that leads to periods of a very fast heartbeat, or tachycardia. PSVT is a short-circuit driven arrhythmia that is treated with careful observation, medications, or catheter ablation.